So here it is, Halo 5 Guardians. The long-awaited sequel to Halo 4. It's been three years, because this game was meant to come out back in 2014. Got pushed back. And it's finally here. I'm sad I couldn't finish Halo 2, 3, and 4 leading up to this game, but I'm just happy it's 12.09 a.m. I had it already pre-downloaded. Just been waiting all day to get home and play it. And it's finally here. This is a real surreal feeling. Halo is my favorite first-person shooter. And I am honestly stoked to be playing it right now. So I appreciate any and all likes dropped on this video. And any of you guys that are excited to see what the future has in store for the Master Chief, do me a favor and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the greatest gaming hunt. The greatest hunt in gaming history. Spartan Lock. I have spent enough years with Oni to know the truth. Once this is over, after all I have done, they'll order you to kill us both. Team Osiris, over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. She claims to have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to Infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Dama. If you have the opportunity... Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Tracking gear online. Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Lock, you buying the first drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. <laughs> Fire Team Osiris, the light is green.
Oh shit! Incoming. Not a bad way to start a game. We could have taken it. Let's move. Bail. Keep an ear Fire on team Osiris. Affirmative. Buck, Danak, full secure. Well, I'm still like kind of freaking out the controls right now, so bear with me. All right, that's to crutch. I'm gonna have to. Palsy and Dumb are gonna have to change the control scheme here because this ain't gonna work. So Palsy called us. She said there was something big happening, and gave Captain Lasky coordinates to find her. There must be something big. One hell of a trap. Contact. Okay, so now they change it to this. And, okay, so now you actually use left trigger to aim down sights, alright? I'm digging it so far. That much I can say I'm liking. But yeah, that was one hell of a start to a game. And from what I read, IGN said that this game has the best combat in the entire Halo series, so... Uh, I can definitely see it's running a lot smoother. The hit detection is nice and solid. I don't know how I feel about the whole boost jumping thing. I didn't really have too much fun with that in Advanced Warfare, but, um, so far I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Headshot, baby, let's go. You know, this game, I've been hyping this game up for a whole year, man. And I, it was no surprise when you saw Cortana at the beginning of the game. I was honestly waiting for something about Cortana being mentioned in this game. I mean, you could tell in the blue team opening cinematic that the chief is still hurt, but it's whatever. Forerunner soldiers, up the cliffs. Get after them. All right, so press A, then A again near an alleged to climb. There we go. Got some like battlefield tactics going on here now. Spartan charge. Remember my first let's play, which was Halo Combat Evolved. That's it, Super Soldier Smash. Well, there ain't much chance of having a good trigger finger in this game, from what I can tell. Um, I need to get a better gun. I'm out of ammo, and I gotta get used to these controls. Maybe I should have messed around with that before I started recording, but it's whatever. I just wanted to get into the game. I was so excited. Ooh, we'll take that. I haven't seen this gun since like Halo Reach. Prometheus, all sides. We could push right up the middle. That would be rough. Might want to consider flanking them. Move smart. Fire with a purpose. I'm very happy to see that the shield is back above my, you know, my uh, my screen above my weapon. Because in Halo 2, that was my downfall. It was like on the top of the mini map, and then in the first Halo, it was in the top right corner where your ammunition count is. And that was really annoying. I had trouble adjusting to that, but back. I'm so happy to be back to the good old stuff from Halo 4. And our grenades, okay, the grenades are not the same. I just tried to throw a grenade and I just aimed down sights. See, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble getting used to it, but I will get used to it eventually. I'm having trouble talking because I'm just so focused on this game. I'm so excited. Come back here. Oh, I think I just assassinated him. Or halfway, anyway. I'm using my Turtle Beast Sentinel Task Force. Oh, shit, we have a health bar. Run, 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 run. I'm just gonna say this right now, Buck's my favorite character. Just because of the simple fact that I know him from Halo 3 ODST. He was like definitely my favorite person out of that besides the rookie, of course. And I actually did a lot of uh, research on some of these characters in Halo 5 and just basically the backdrop of certain things that happened after Halo 4 to fuel my suspicions because I was just, you know, so happy and I wanted to know more about how Buck became a Spartan. I gotta say, man. Halo, there's many reasons why Halo is my favorite series. Many, many reasons. Oh shit, I made that jump and then I didn't expect it and I fell down. So, I guess we're just gonna keep plowing through shooting everybody and trying to avoid death as long as we can. And why am I having so much trouble with ammo right now? Oh, 
Yeah, I'm not really back in, you know, my whole YouTube swing of things yet. Cause my last video was almost like a week ago that I recorded it. And before that, it was like a two-week hiatus. So I'm kind of having trouble getting back into the whole thing. But I'll get adjusted eventually. Especially for this game. So the plan is to make this video pretty long. Um, however long, I guess, it's going to need to be. I want to get, you know, a good feel. First part is always important to a series. And after I'm done with that, I'll probably pause, edit the video, render it, and then continue recording afterwards. Have it rendering all night long, because if it's going to be as long as I think it is, it'll take probably three or four hours to render up. And then after that, I'll have it uploading, and I'll get another video rendering. And that's just going to be the system that I have going on here. Try and get as many of these videos cranked out. I don't know why, but these things honestly like seem like Transformers to me. They sound like it too. Good work, everyone. I noticed in the briefing Dr. Halsey lost her left arm. When did that happen? Jewel did it. No idea when or why. Reckon it wasn't an argument, or he'd have cut off her head instead of her arm. The door's sealed tight. Forerunner security station. Must be in lockdown. Any way to lift it? The Artemis can analyze Forerunner systems. Might be a way to override this door. This Artemis thing, one of your old Oni toys? Similar. I convinced Commander Palmer to outfit us with prototypes. That's the system's analyzed. Looks like there's an override switch near the top of the room. That's the other thing I forgot to mention is, um, he, the inter they don't know when it happened, but it happened back in, like, Halo 4 during Spartan Ops. Let's see. This should do it. You play Spartan Ops, it gives you some story about that, because that is, itself is actually pretty interesting. And the Halo and Master Chief Collection is actually there too, so... If you want to know what he's talking about, go play that, and you'll see. Well, just watch the cutscenes, actually. Give you all the information you need. The door is open. The Artemis did the trick. Lock, listen to this. They're assaulting the back of the temple. Bring in the Kraken. Bring in the Kraken. It's like a Clash of Titans reference. Well, then again, we have Guardians, so. Buy more time. Jewel's getting desperate. How'd you learn to speak Sanghili, Vale? When I was a kid, I'm gonna try and get an assassination here real quick. Or not. I could just Spartan charge. My bad. I actually wanted to get that assassination. And I need fucking ammo, quick. Oh, and I'm dead. What? Oh, wait. Request assistance. Oh, we can get revived? Your team is your weapon. Well, I did not expect to die in this video. Like I said, I'm having trouble adjusting still. I haven't played Xbox in so long. That's my excuse. Take it or leave it. And this game's controls are rather different. And I completely forget, you know, to aim down sights as well. I'm not used to that in a Halo game. Let's try and pull out some insane moves here real quick. Let's show them the moves. Gonna crouch over here a bit. Is there anything here worth using, or I guess just an area to take cover? So it seems like we're about 14 minutes into this video right now. Just had to boost back real quick. Wanted to get behind some cover. I don't want to get caught out in the open again. And I would like to grab that weapon real quick. I'm, I'm trying to pick up a weapon with RB when it's actually X. So it seems like they turned this more into like a Call of Duty feeling type campaign now. Just in the sense of the combat and the way the controls work. Then again, I could probably just fidget my way with them and fix it, but I can do that off camera. Oh, got a light rifle. Oh shit, run, 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 run. Kraken's falling back. Forerunner defenses were too much for it. See, because that's my thing. I keep running out into the open too much because I'm thinking like this is just your traditional Halo 2, Halo 3 type campaign where there really ain't no need for cover. It's like push forward. But it seems like it's going to cater to actually just sitting back and shooting all day rather than actually running out there. That's just power. Based on what I'm seeing. Yeah. 
My only worry is, if this game is anything like Halo The Master Chief Collection with this cutscenes, like where it's, you know, where it takes breaks in between for the loading streams I'm in, I may not be able to actually get an outro to this video, but, oh well. It'll have to do, I suppose. Alright, I have no idea if I killed him or not. And this is setting off all types of vibrations on my controller. Yeah, this gun is not the same as it was in Halo 4. Neither is the light rifle. Wow, he just ate that? Really? Alright, I'll seek my way around then. Uh, how do I throw grenades? Alright, well, that's how you target people. I want to know how to throw grenades, though. There we go. Figured it out. It's LB. I can't believe I just died again, bro. Well, technically, I didn't die, but still. Bullshit. This is not a good... Man, I knew I wasn't ready to come back into YouTube this quickly, man. Shut the fuck down. Pick up Splinter Turret? What the fuck is this? This shit rips! Halsey and Amdama are somewhere inside that structure. We do this right, we bring our target home, and end the Covenant in one move. End the Covenant? Man, I heard that shit so many times. We're close to Halsey's position. Must have dealt a blow to Amdama's authority when the Prometheans turned on him. He gained a lot of followers, styling himself as a forerunner prophet. Jewel Amdama is an opportunist, a not a leader. Of new it was only a matter of time until his version of the Covenant the started to break. Well, it would stand to break a little faster if you ask me. This symbol referred to a demon who sleeps in the ground and must not wake. So where am I supposed to go? The signal, I am unsure. Ah, uh, Promethean Knights. Concentrate fire on the broken armor. Or I just melee him in the back, and I'll take that shotgun while I'm at it. And I'm gonna stay at a distance on this one, because you don't want to mess with Knights. We need her alive. You never want to get up close and personal with Knights, especially when they got shotguns. And when they don't have shotguns, they got their swords instead. Just as bad. Don't mess with them up close. And when they get in close, you make them pay for it, just like that. I didn't think we were going to get into action this quick in the game. Like, I thought it was going to work its way into it. No, just first thing. You're going up against fucking Covenant and the Prometheans. I wonder... I'm going to make assumptions, but I wonder if the Flood is in this game. I really do. Because they weren't in 4. But you never know. I mean, I believe we have reason to assume that they're not going to be. Just because of the events that transpired in Halo 3. But, who knows. Oh shit, get away, get away. I'm breaking my own rule. Die already! I just shot you mad times! How are you still alive? Eat that grenade then. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm totally out. I'm out. Oh shit, that was close. I think they're treating this like a semi sub boss battle right here. Alright, so I guess I gotta shoot them in the back. trying to avoid getting up close like that because I don't want to eat that shotgun. Oh shit, oh shit, get away. Woo! Oh my god, get, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Move, move. Oh my goodness, run, run, run. Wow, the carbon rifle actually looks different. Run! Alright, there we go. That, that did something. Got a hit marker on that one. Oh no, Buck's down. Shit. There you go, Mo. Come on, let's go. Need Buck, man. Buck's gonna help us get through this. Ooh, I got him. That time, I got him. That was a good shot. 
And you're dead. What about you? You're next. See, like, I'm not used to aiming that sight. What the fuck? What? What was that? I don't believe that. Whoa, that was insane. I don't know how he did that to me. He did some, like, daredevil shit. What the hell is that? Alright, danger is clear. We move on Halsey and Jewel. Yes, please do, because I'm tired of dealing with the damn Prometheans. Alright, which way am I supposed to go, though? Alright, yeah, so I'm supposed to go this way, because we came through that one. Or not, never mind. I actually just decided to hit that button just to see if it would do anything for me, and I guess did the right thing then. the finer points of casual reconciliation? Or human sarcasm. So you have learned something from me, Julie. You claim to be able to access- And I can. However, I did not claim to be able to access it instantaneously. Seems your fingers are an open rebellion, Han. Enough! Hey, good looking. Eyes on target. This location does not serve my needs. When she makes another transmission, I must triangulate. I tire of this doctor. You have been chasing shadows for weeks to no avail. long enough fire team Osiris you are clear to land in docking bay 11 I sent you my position three weeks ago. I told you this was happening. We'll discuss that in private, Doctor. Palmer. What has she done? How far has it already gone? Good work, Osiris. What do you think that's about? seen Chief press himself like this since we were in boot camp. He's fine, Fred. And this many missions non-stop isn't fun. Sierra 117 to infinity. Blue team has located Argent Moon. Signs of hostile activity, but she's still here. 
Copy that, 117. Eliminate all hostiles. Secure Argent Moon. You may deploy when ready. Affirmative Infinity. 117 out. Blue team. All right, so with that cutscene, also by the way, if you heard a thump, I hit my pop filter on my mic. I apologize for that. Pony research station went dark 19 months ago. Last week, Kikyar scavengers found it and sold the find to Jula and Dama's people. We clear the covenant and return this station to Oni. Fastest route to retrieval is to see central control. Eliminate hostels between here and there, and deactivate gravity and life support systems. Ship data center is just ahead. We can pull down Argent Moon schematics there. So fun fact. Impression. Looks like they were designing a new stealth class. If I could ever get a chance to talk. They lost years of expensive R&D with this station. Everyone you see here are all the original Spartan 2s. That's why Frederick just mentioned, you know, the Chief and Boot Camp. The target is down. And if you watch Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn, you kind of see them at that younger point in time, because Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn takes place before the first Halo, actually. Which someone informed me of, because I did not know that. I gotta really get used to aiming down sights, I promise you, I'm gonna progress. By the time I beat this game, I'm gonna be a beast. I was tempted to cut the video off, but, like I said, I don't want to end it at like 25 minutes after I just said how I wanted it to be nice and long, so. That's why I'm just extending it a bit. And that cutscene, if you look at it, like if you analyze it from top to bottom, you can see that there's one major difference, and it's that the Chief and Blue Team didn't even have to shoot a bullet to completely get rid of everyone in that room. Whereas it took a lot of high octane action for the Spartan Forest to complete their objective. Data center. We've got a complete set of data set keys for the station. We should be able to pull down Argent Moon schematics and find a path to central control. I gotta put on subtitles. But basically what I'm trying to say is... You can tell a blue team is way more experienced than Osiris. Nobody from Oni got out of here alive, did they? No. Let's go. Elevator. Oh, there's the switch to activate it. Gotta say, I'm really enjoying this game, though. Straight across this bay. Everything's ripped up. They must be stripping that experimental ship for parts. Scavengers, taking what supplies they can find. The Covenant's war against the Arbiter must not be going well. Julem Dama is a lot of things, but he's no prophet. That's what I forgot to mention. That motherfucker Julem Dama had it for a while, man. He really did. So happy he's finally dealt with. Most direct route to the shipyard is through the wall ahead. Let's charge through. Alright, well, if we're charging, I might as well take the shotgun, right? Here we go. Oh shit. Whoa! Contact. Oh, 
going to go after that elite real quick. Oh, he's already dead. Well, I'm going to go after you then. Perfect. That's exactly how I wanted that to play out, too. Swipe back over to the assault rifle. The old reliable. See, my only worry is I wonder if you can even die in this game right now. Well, speak of the damn devil. I need support. That's what I mean, like can can I die or need an assist. Oh shit, wait, I, I might actually die. <laughs> Unless Frederick saves me somehow. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh coming in clutch, baby, let's go. I got you, Kelly. Hold on one second. Let's go, Kelly. Let's go, teamwork. I was completely not even like looking at my shields before. That's why I got dismantled the way I did. But now I'm playing a little bit more tactical. Own up to what I said about the chief and blue team being more experienced. Yeah, I need to learn how to use the boost more in this game because I feel like it could be a strategic advantage if you use it properly in the right situations. I gotta start using it more. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kelly. I tried. Oh shit. Back up. Back back. Area's clear. Hydrator. Uh let me check for ammo because I am lacking in that. Oh, I'll take the DMR, why not? Man, I love this game already. Uh I think I can make that jump, can I? <sighs> Made it. Headshot. I don't know if I want to get Black Ops 3 or not. I haven't decided yet. I know I'm definitely going to be getting Fallout 4. That's going to be pre-ordered by the end of this week. Damn. I'm taking shots. Oh, there they are. I was wondering where I was taking all those shots from. And the team's not even doing anything. They're just watching it happen. I got 14 shots. Got to make it count. Got him. Got him. Oh shit, there's one in front of me. Not anymore. It says hold RB in the air to ground pound. Alright, why not? Let's try that. Oh shit. That is epic. That is epic. That is mental right there. I just now realize what the scope on this fucking thing looks like. I'm not so sure I like it. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. That's not good. Let me take that from you real quick. That's better. I'm gonna charge him. Or not. I'll just get rid of his shield. Well, that's good. Now I know at least I can use that to get rid of their shields. Is that all of them? Let's move on to central control. All right, which way is that? That way. Got it. I am liking that though. It won't make it so hard to find where I need to go. Central control is through those doors. Oh shit! Hunter. Sierra 117 to Blue Team. Report. Sierra 117. Does anyone copy? Not gonna lie, I'm a bit creeped out right now.
Chief. The domain is open. Meridian is next. Cortana? John, the reclamation is about to begin. Man, what the shit? She's on Meridian. Who? Cortana. That's not possible. You said she was gone. I watched her die. We have a mission to focus on. We can talk about this later. Lights on. Frederick, get us back on course for central control. Bringing up schematics. There's an elevator we can use, but access is four levels down. Mark a path. I was like really worried. After the first of that hunter scared the shit out of me. I didn't even see it coming. I didn't expect it. And as soon because like I said, I have my trouble because on. I'm glad I have the lamp on in my room. Otherwise, I might have actually been a bit scared there at that moment when she said chief in such a very light tone. Because I already know who it was, but god damn. And I'm honestly looking for what's gonna make Chief the traitor in the story of this game. And forces Osiris to have to hunt him down. Alright, now we gotta worry about suicide bombers. Oh shit. Well, that's what we can boost out of the way. That's nice. Whoa! Yeah, and, and it's in their domain too, because it's actually perfect for them to be in here with active camouflage. Really can't see them then. Oh hell no, this thing is I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about Oh shit! clear. <sighs> Man, too many close calls. Chief, what did Cortana say to you? Not enough. Something about Meridian. Meridian's a backwater. If she's active, what's she doing so far out on the frontier? Let's get there to ask her, don't you think? Oh no. I feel like I'm playing Doom right now. Hunters, they're keeping pace with us. Yeah, they definitely want to get at me, and don't they? You know, my entire thought during that cutscene was only the chief would get himself to some shit like that too. All right, so if you get shot. A certain amount of times it throws you out of your aiming down sight mode. Duly noted. Oh shit! Woo! Back up, back up, back up. That was close. Let's uh let's do this slowly, shall we? Let's not be too hasty. Bunch of unsuspecting foes over here. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of me not such this game. It'd be different, like if I was playing COD, because then at least I'd know I'd have to. But with Halo, you never really had to, so it kind of makes it worse. And this guy's trying to be sneaky. Oh shit! Back up. Yep. Nah, he going down. Don't worry about it. Where you at? He, he just disappeared. Oh no, he's dead. Cool. Cool beans. I actually do want that energy sword though, so let's uh let's take it. Let's see what it can do. Reach level three. One more level down to the elevator for central. Oh, control. SMG. Let's go. Let's go. I completely forgot that this was in this game. I hear footsteps, okay. Uh which way? This way. Oh, I wonder what's on the other side of this door over here. Covenant ships exiting slip space. We're outnumbered here, Chief. A few thousand to one. Surrendering Arjun Moon is not an option. Neither is fighting half the Covenant in close quarters. Then forget about reaching central control. The plan changes to asset denial. We scuttle the Arjun Moon. Ship's reactor core is near here. 
Same plan as the perpetual devotion. We overload the reactor and evac. Ship explodes, destroying any ships nearby. The reactor is below the lab just ahead. We can use air ducts to travel between them. Marking the access panel. Alright, so Chief just concluded that we're just going to scuttle the entire thing because we're not going to allow them to take control of this. It's like same thing like the concept that they have with Cortana. We can't let anything flow into the Covenant's hands. That could be useful to them. The new arrivals say he's dead. Somebody cut the head off the Covenant. Bravo. Hunters. They're strong and slow. Use the lab equipment to keep above them and out of the Weapons free. Alrighty then. Alright, so they had to deal with the Promethean Knights over there at Osiris, and it seems like over here on this end, we're gonna have to deal with hunters. And you basically just said jump around like Spider Man until you kill him. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And try and be as accurate as possible. See, I'm going in and out. I'm taking a few jabs, and then I'm retreating. Oh shit. Oh, Kelly's down. I'm coming, Kelly. Let's go, Kelly. Got you. How do I change grenades? There we go, figured it out. Because I actually want to use the plasma grenades. Oh, oh. Damn! That motherfucker just ripped me a new ass. I'm up. There we go. Got him. Open fire, everyone. And now Linda's down. That's not good. I gotta pull back because they're getting a bit too carried away over here. Someone go get Linda. There we go. Just directing my team. Alright, taking out one hunter. Only one more to go. Reload real quick. Show a path to the reactor from here. All right, now everyone, just focus your fire on him. Because if, he, if he's looking at me, then they can shoot it from behind. And if he's looking at them, then I can shoot. And there we go. That's teamwork. The reactor core is just below us. Let's go. Let's go. I knew it was a good idea to take this early assault rifle. I don't know if I want to go down there. Oh well, I just got pushed off, so it doesn't matter. The reactor room is just ahead. I can light this fuse and bolt. No salvage for the Covenant. Right, let's go. All right, sprint in the Spartan charge. Oh shit! That was a mistake. Man, I thought that was gonna kill him too, because I thought unsuspecting enemies are actually just supposed to die instead of having a shield. And actually, I should have just used the ground pound, but too late. Eliminate the Covenant forces and get to those controls. I'm still meleeing out of range. I barely managed to get that headshot on there too. I got the SMG just because I knew it was going to be close quarters combat. Completely melting him. Grenade out. Alright, let's pull back a bit. Let's take a step back and reassess the situation. Oh, just managed to sneak that headshot in there too. Let's go. And I'm about to go down. Run or not. I'm down. I just like press B and as soon as I hit B, I just get knocked the hell out. That would happen to me. Back in it. Hit. Go back there and hit him. Wow, I'm having so much trouble meleeing right now, it's not even a joke. And there was a pistol over here. I need it. There we go. There run, 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 run! What the fuck, bro? Literally, everywhere I go, there's always something in the way. I need a hand. Holy shit. I've 
I'm up. Reload. There we go. That's all I needed to do. Take this back. Give them all a taste of their own medicine real quick. Shooting all that plasma shit everywhere. Oh shit. He pulled out the energy sword. Put him down real quick. Got him. I'm out of ammo, but that's fine. What, is there like no lunge with the energy sword anymore? Uh, that'd be over here. for the hangar bay all right well this video is going to take quite a while to render i'm pretty sure the station's going to try to cool the reactor i guess the unsc is better reactor safety protocol than the covenant we can stop that board the reactor board the reactor if it's being moved we should go with it you know chief is really good at making some valid points yeah this video is going to take quite a while to render i think this might just breach possibly an hour I was prepared for it to hit 40, maybe over 40, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to see where it goes. Because once the video's done, I'm gonna take a break and edit it all together nicely, make sure it gets rendering, and then get back to recording. The safety systems are set to pump coolant to the reactor. This whole plan fails if that coolant gets a chance to work. Shame to lose the Argent Moon, but I'd love to see the look on the Covenant's faces when she goes supernova. We'll be far away. Stop it. There are sheds located on either side of the cooling chamber. Those are our targets. Reach the control sheds. Get the cooling system offline. And is there any particular way we're supposed to go about doing that? Alright, well, I want to take this guy real quick. Alright, did that. Not even going to waste any more battle rifle ammo. It's just grunts and what the fuck just happened? Wow! There goes my first official death of the game. We stop? Nice. There are sheds located on either side of the cooling chamber. Those are our targets. Reach the control sheds. Get the cooling system. I still can't believe I'm having this much trouble. Like seriously, this game is just so much more different than I thought it was gonna be. Like I really did not think it was gonna be this different. But like I said, off screen I'll be getting more used to everything. I change up the control scheme and I will put on subtitles. Our current objective over there. Override controls. Chiefs answered everything, just punch it. Activated. Wait, what? There's how many? Alright, listen, we're just gonna jump from Banshee to Banshee then. System inner workings are exposed. Eliminate the targets. Grab Banshees. We can target the pipes more easily from the air. Whatever you say. Of course they're. Why wouldn't they send phantoms? Having trouble rolling here. My controller's still fucked up. Let's go grab another one just in case. Using a Grand Theft Auto technique. Alright, looks like someone was shooting at this one before, but they didn't finish it. Oh, that's the one to roll. I was hitting the wrong button the entire time. See, I'm still having trouble with that. Is there another one around here that I can use? Because I don't want to use this Banshee anymore. There's got to be another one. Yeah, there it is. Let's get a fresh one. Alright, there's only two more left, so I'm just going to go at him. 
There we go. Roll, roll, roll. Alright, that's it. Wow, everyone's dead. WTF. Banshees aren't fast enough to get clear of the reactor explosion. Crying in the benefit. No signal on autopilot retrieval. Amada must have taken it out. Frederick, find the nearest hangar bay. We're taking a prowler. There's the hangar bay. Prowler is just inside, through an airlock. Alright, well, how am I supposed to get this open then? There's always some extracurricular way to do things in this game. Or, not even this game, in all Halo games, to be honest. Wait. What did I do? How did I get that in there? Oh, there this we go. About to be slammed the I thought I was being prevented from going in. Never mind. I just didn't even try. Prowler. More covenant. Of course, more Clear covenant. Prep for uh, do it quick. I'd rather not be here when the station melts around us. I guess you're supposed to go down then. Evacuation protocols in effect. Proceed to escape vehicles immediately. <laughs> Get away, get away, die. There we go. I'm about to say, just die. Die before you get too close to me. Too close for comfort. Oh shit! Whoa! Yo, this game is just full of surprises sometimes. Can't shoot through the grate. Launch control. Alright, let's go. Launch controls are here. Hold off the Covenant. That's what I love to hear. Oh shit, more hunters. I was about to say, it sounded like I heard a hunter right before you said it. Just trying to clear out most of the grunts with the magnum and saving, you know, the real bullets for the real shit. And I was trying to reload a light there, but alright, let's get this SMG. That's gonna come in more useful, I think. Yeah, so simply like taking cover is gonna actually help you in this game a lot more than just running out. And I just tried to melee right there. Now I'm completely like just unclear about what I was trying to do again. Wait, why can't you do wield anything? I'm out of ammo with that. There we go. I'm just throwing grenades galore right now. Hoping that they do something. Alright, I think I killed one of them. Nope, never mind. Oh well shit, we're a rocket launcher. I'll take that. Oh, railgun too? Let's go. We rocking everything right now. I'm trying to shoot that behind him. I want to get some. Oh shit! Back away. Woo! There we go. That's what I'm like to see right there. I was trying to get some splash damage on him. All right. Let me go back and get the SMG then. It'll be good for clearing out the rest of them. How long is it gonna take for whatever it's do you know the ship is doing to do it? And Frederick just went down. I'm gonna go revive him real quick. You're still active, Fred. Oh 
Oh, they're above us. They were above us the entire time. I'm over here, you know, looking for him. Oh shit, oh shit, okay, let's back up. Let's back away. Alright, just gonna use the rail gun. Surefire way to kill him. That thing terror, that was like my favorite gun back in the Halo 4 MP. Board now, blue team. Alright, let's board that shit. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Clear. Time, Linda. 89 seconds. Sierra 117 to infinity. Argent Moon scuttled. I've reassigned blue team. Destination Meridian. Potential contact from Cortana. Negative 117. Another team is already being prepped to deal with her. What the hell? You're to return to infinity immediately. Negative infinity. I don't like it. Whoever they are, let's get to Meridian before they do. Kelly, no. No need to do this by yourself, Chief. Martial all of us, right? 